Right people, it's Stephen Hollywood, famous from Stephen Hollywood Presents and obviously Boys on Tour. I have got Gav with me, you'll see him in a little while, but I'm not doing the usual kind of video. This isn't about raving about wrestlers we've met or going to meet or interviews. This is about someone in my mind and in Gavin's mind is a true, general hero, locally. He's genuine, he's honest, he's one of the most kindest, caring people I've ever met. He will do anything to help anybody. And he's currently battling with non-Hodgkinson's lymphoma, otherwise known as cancer to you and me. He's not out the woods yet. He's got another treatment to go. He just posted a video yesterday online. And uh, he posted that video yesterday. Yes, Dean, I'm talking about you. This is all about Dean Mitchell. He's from BWR Radio. And he goes to wrestling shows up and down the country. And like I've said, he will do anything to help anybody. And after watching his video, listening to what he's had to say about things that he's experienced on his journey, which was the purpose of his video, I can't just sit there and say, all right, Dino, thanks for the mentioning your video, by the way, and leave it at that and put a few nice comments on Facebook. No, Dino deserves more than that. Dino attempted, whilst suffering... And whilst going through a treatment for cancer, to do 24 hours for Chris Travis, another cancer sufferer at the moment. And unfortunately Dino didn't get to complete, but he put in the time and he put heart and soul, body, mind and spirit into making that show happen. So it's not just about the time on the air, it's about the preparation work, the time that he's put in beforehand. He's not just set up the radio station... But he's also set up the webcam online. He put a lot of work and effort in. Because even though he was suffering himself, he wanted to do something for Chris. That just shows the nature of Dean Mitchell. And um, Dino, we can't just let this slide. We can't just pretend this hasn't happened. And there's an old, old saying that I've used over the years. Why do bad things happen to good people? We could debate that all night. He said on the video that he's a wreck. Dean, you're not a wreck. You're a fighter. You have fought long and hard to deal with this, to get over this. And as you've got on a T-shirt, Dino316 says you just kick cancer's ass. It's phenomenal when we look at where you've gone and where you've come. And where you are now. And we we salute you. We take hats off to you, metaphorically speaking. We we can't speak highly enough of you. I mean you mentioned on the video you couldn't wait for your hair to grow back. Well just recently I was looking at um, some videos that my colleague Gav posted up online from Boys on Tours Lost Interviews and one of them was questions of from Dean Mitchell that he answered. And Dean now had longish blonde hair. Sorry mate. The blonde hair wasn't you. It was then. It isn't now. And you know what to say. Bald is beautiful mate. Because you ain't bald. It's a solar panel for a sex machine. And I know you'll appreciate that. I, I could sit here and talk for hours about the time that you've spent for other people. Every time we go to a show, you've always got time for us. First time I met you was down in St. Neas. And was talking about the WWE Network. And how you've set it all up and how you use it. and blah de blah de blah That is my earliest memory of you. And I remember seeing you then and thinking, this guy's something special. This guy's somebody I need to be alongside. Your knowledge of British wrestling is incredible. Your knowledge of wrestling on the whole is incredible. And I'm happy to call you friend. Now, I'm going to hand over and let Gav say a few words. And I might come back again in a little while. But Dino, we love you to bits, mate. And we hope to see much more of you. In fact, we know we're going to see a lot more of you in the future. At future shows, at future events. And who knows? We might even come for a drive to your hometown and take you out for a pint.
but for now, here's Gav. What more can I say? Other than thank you, Dino, for being a supporter of obviously Boys on Tour. But my fond memory that me and Dean always share is how I actually came across Dean. I as I was going to the show down Seasons Beatings 2001, if I recall. Go on, Dino. I know you'll correct me on the year. I know what you like. But I could be right. could be not. But <clears throat> fondest memory has got to be me and him chatting away. He actually put a comment on one of my posts. I'm looking forward to this show. He says, see you at the show. I thought, oh yeah, he's just another fan. Fair dues. I do listen to British Wrestling Radio fluently back then. And we were chatting about British Wrestling in the whole... Talk about WWE, once it was in my eye, everything, we had the same views pretty much. And then lo and behold, we just cried to joke when Rockstar Spud came up to us and asked him, do you know any stream sites? Or do you know where I can actually watch American Wrestling whilst I'm on the road or whatever with TNA? And we were there just sharing that. Who would have thought someone as big as Rockstar Spud as he is now remembers us no matter what time of year it is. Now, when you look at the British scene, when you look at the way Dean's been through, no matter what, his heart's in the right place. His heart is 50% British wrestling, 50% his family. But in whole, that's Dino. But like Hollywood has said, he puts others first than himself. The amount of times he's supported Boys on Tour, like I've mentioned. He supported my idea from the word go. He was the first ever interview that I conducted. Yes, me conducting an interview is normally the guy behind the camera for once today. But... When Dean says to me, if you've got a dream, follow it. Ever since then, I've been following it. And he's been checking every Boys on Tour videos. Sharing them on his social media to get his views. To show our passion. He's invited me on countless times on British Wrestling Radio's Like to Have a Chat. Answer the call. But my other fondest memory is... Making his dream come to true. Like he made a dream for me to come true. To get no British wrestlers the way I know British wrestlers today. And future shows we have in the pipeline. Is to make him talk to British Bulldogs family. I know the actual sh shock of it. When he cried on air. And he thanked me. And I, I've said to Dean... When I met up with him after that 24-hour show that he did for Callum, take two, even though he's done three, maybe done four, he's done four 24-hour shows. But this one sticks out in the mind. Him saying the nearest he ever talked to his idol, he thanked me and everything. And when someone says a thank you to me, it means the world to me. Because I don't get it often in my life. No matter if it's work related, friendship related, whatever. If someone says a thank you to me, it, I don't see people why they say thank you to me, but it means the world to me. Because when you've got someone who's passionate as well as Dino is, as the way I am, drop of hat, I could cry. When I watch Dino's video spilling the beans of his past four months, you may think, Oh, that's not much. But when you hear what he went through, you can see he was battling depression. I was a battle E of depression. I got out of it. I snapped out of it. Yeah, I may suffer a little bit down in the dumps in times. But when you've got someone who's been through a lot and I see people moaning, oh, they've got a cold. Oh, they've got a flu. 
I looked to Dino for inspiration because he's been through a lot. So is Chris Travis, you know? Every every person that has been through cancer or more, as you might say, is the common cold is more to people to look to for inspiration than the person that's got the common cold. I've been through common colds, yeah. I've been through flu. But when you say you've been through cancer and survived cancer, that proves how strong that person is inside, mentally and outside. That just shows you how much of a passion that Dino has to be on this motherfucking world. I do apologise for swearing, but you know what I mean. He's lost countless people that he knows in his personal life through cancer. And Dino, it's not your turn. It's not your turn, and I'm glad it's not your turn because I don't want to lose a friend. Hands down, I don't want to lose a friend. And you're more to me, you're like family. You're like my older brother. And when you've got people like us supporting you, it means the world to us. That's all I've got to say. So, as you can hear guys, if there is anybody watching this apart from Dino, we love you mate. You are more than a friend to us. You are the brother from another mother. And we can't say a bad word about you. We don't want this to be a disrespect to Chris Travis. Because I know we've done stuff on Chris before. And we have got a lot of respect for Chris. And we hope he gets better soon. But today he's all about Dina. Dina. What else can I say about Dina? Apart from the fact he likes Sheffield as a football team. But we're not going to judge him on that. His same team as Trav. Yeah, that's something else got to <laughs> with Trav. But no, Dino, seriously, we're not going to make jokes about this. We're not going to make light. But we don't want this to be depressing either. Because <clears throat> this sounds like we're doing a tribute. But we don't need to do a tribute to someone that's passed because you haven't passed. Like Gav said, it's not your time. It's not your time. We are celebrating the fact that you beat it. You have beaten cancer and you beat it your way. We salute you, Dina. And uh, that's about all we've got to say. So thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you soon, Dean. Look after yourself, mate.